these motion problems here in this packet that I gave you. Okay, the first problem, we want to identify the Gibbons. And I think for this problem, it would be helpful to draw a little diagram. So here's the Grand Canyon. Somebody's standing up here. And they're yelling down here. The sound travels down to the bottom, hits the bottom, and then bounces back up. So we've got a path on the way down and a path back up. So when we get this distance, we're actually going to get the distance for it to go down and back up. So we want to think about that. Okay, our givens. Looks like we have a time of 5.20 seconds. And we have a speed, speed of sound in air which we use a V for, it's 340 meters per second. Our unknown, how deep the canyon is, distance. Our equation, well, originally it's velocity is distance over time, or speed is distance over time. But we're going to cross multiply and solve for distance, so distance equals vt. We're going to substitute d equals three hundred and forty meters per second times five point two seconds, and then we'll get our get our answer almost. We're going to take that answer and that's twice as much as we want. So we want to actually divide that by two. and That will be our answer. Okay, the next one looks like we're going to set up our givens. We have a distance of 1,000 meters, and we have a time of 7.045 seconds. Our unknown, how fast was this boat moving? So speed equals question mark, our equation, V equals D over T, and then we're going to substitute V equals 1,000 meters divided by time is 7.045 seconds. And then we'll get an answer. We want to make sure our answer is in meters per second. And when we get that answer, that will be in meters per second, but they also want us to change it to miles per hour. You can use an app to do that. I'm not expecting that you change the meters to miles and the seconds to hours. Uh, that's more of a math problem. Um, but a good number to remember for this class, because it works for this as well as kilograms to pound, is multiply it by 2.2. So you multiply meters per second by 2.2 and that will give you your answer in miles per hour. Okay, for number three, I'm going to set up our givens. Looks like we have a distance of 54 meters. We have a speed, a velocity of 13 meters per second. It looks like our unknown is how long? Time. Our equation is going to be Originally, V equals D over T. And we can do the switcheroo with the V and the T. So this becomes time is distance over velocity. I substitute in. Distance is 54. And your velocity is 13 meters per second. Get our answer, the meters will cancel out, we'll be left with seconds.
Next one, number four. Pretty complicated. You have to read it a couple times. Basically, uh, she, Suzette, has a minute, one minute, to get to class. Which is equal to 60 seconds. If it takes her longer than that, she's going to be late. If it takes her less, she'll make it. And she's doing three different things. So uh, we'll break this down into three parts. So part one, she's going a distance of 35 meters and 3.5 meters per second. So we want to get the time. And so our equation is velocity is distance over time, but again, we could switch a ru, the, the t and the v, so time is equal to time one, will be equal to distance one divided by um, velocity one, or speed one. And then time two will be distance two divided by velocity. Two. And time three will be distance three divided by velocity three. So let's put these in here. Distance one is 35 meters divided by 3.5 meters per second is velocity one. Distance two, 48 meters divided by 1.2 meters per second. And the third one is going to be 60 meters divided by 5 meters per second. So, we want to get all those, add them all up, and if it's over 60 seconds, she doesn't make it to class on time. Uh, we will not go over the drawing the distance versus time graph on this one. We'll do that later. Okay, for number five, identify our givens. Givens are uh, velocity or speed is 45 meters per second. And looks like the time is five seconds. And the plane is coming to a halt. So that means the final velocity, final speed of the plane is zero meters per second. So this over here, since we're changing our speed in this problem, I want to label that VO for original speed, original velocity. So there's our givens. Our unknown is what is the acceleration of the plane? So what's acceleration? Our equation, if we go look at the definition of acceleration, it's change in velocity over time, which is equal to a equals b um, f minus v o divided by t. Well, this is the final velocity. Sometimes we, we label it final, sometimes we don't. And that's the initial velocity, or the original one. And then there's your time. So you'll plug those in. 45, let's see, 0 minus 45 meters per second divided by 5 seconds. And notice you'll have seconds and seconds, and so it'll be seconds squared in your units. And you're going to have a negative number since it's slowing down. Okay, so you figure that out, and you have your answer. Okay, number 6. Okay, we want to know our givens. Our givens, 20 meters per second. That is initial speed. Final speed is equal to 30 meters per second. And then we have an acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. Our equation, oops, our unknown, our unknown is what is, how long will this take? What is it in terms of time? Our equation is 
A equals B F minus B O divided by T. We want to solve for T, so we're going to do a switcheroo here. So T is equal to B F minus B O over A. And we could substitute 30 minus 20, that will all be in meters per second, divided by 5 meters per second squared. Okay, the meters are going to cross out. This second is going to cross out with one of those. You're going to have 1 over 1 over seconds, which is seconds. So your time will be in seconds when you figure that out. Okay, next problem, 7. We've got our givens. Okay, she's uh, moving initially at 1.3 meters per second. She can accelerate, it looks like, at 0 0.090 meters per second squared. And she's going to do this for. time of 10 seconds. So our unknown is what's her final speed? Well, our equation is equal to A equals BF minus VO over T. If we cross multiply, we get A times T. So we get VF minus VO equals AT. We move the VO over to each side. This becomes VF equals AT plus the initial velocity. So you plug in the numbers. So you have 0 0.09 meters per second squared times the time of 10 seconds. Seconds cancel out there, and you're going to get meters per second plus 10 of VO, which was uh, 1.3. 1, 1 plus 1.3 meters per second. And then your answer will be in meters per second. Okay, last one. This one's tough. And I misled some of you because I did not read the problem carefully enough. In reading the problem, this is what it looks like. You have a submarine okay, let's say here's the water okay, and it's going to fire a torpedo at whatever this is. This is my aircraft carrier or something. Whatever its target is. This distance from the submarine to the target is 2,000 meters. Well, when it fires, fires this torpedo, boom, the torpedo goes over, over to the target and it's moving at 200 meters per second. So it's going to take time for that torpedo to hit the target, and then it's going to take a little bit more time for you to hear the explosion from the submarine. So we have to actually have two parts to this problem. We've got how long does it take to hit the target, and then how much time do we have left for us to hear the explosion? Because the time they gave us is 101.4 seconds. That's how long it takes to hear the explosion on the submarine. So that means it's the time for the torpedo to travel through the water, hit the sub, and then the sound to travel back. So let's, let's work out some times here. How long does it take the torpedo to hit the, the target? So uh, I think I've got all our givens outlined here. Oops, this is 20 actually. 20 meters per second. Okay, 
So it's pretty slow in the water compared to sound. Okay, so let's figure out our time. What's our time to hit target? So that's going to be time, if you remember, uh, velocity is distance over time, right? So switcheroo, time is distance over velocity. So we're going to work this out. Distance is 2,000 meters to get there. Velocity of 20 meters per second. And these are nice numbers. So uh, looks like 200 divided by 2. That looks like 100 seconds. So it takes 100 seconds to get there. So you had 101.4 seconds minus the 100 seconds that the torpedo takes to get there. And that leaves you with 1.4 seconds for sound to travel back to sub. So then we want to go, OK, well, how fast is sound then? Well, the velocity is going to equal distance over time. The distance is 2,000 meters back to the sub, and the time is at 1.4 seconds. So you figure that out, you would get your answer, and it'll be meters per second, and you got it. Should be pretty fast.